plastic bags in Kenya, a majority of Kenyans might just be caught unawares as they're still looking for alternative means of coping with the ban. The ban kicks off on 28th of this month. Cecilia Wakesho with more. <laughs> Nairobi's Umoja estate, life seemingly has been made easier with the market located adjacent to their apartments. The use of plastic bags is a way of life. Almost all items sold here come wrapped in polythene bags that will very soon become a thing of the past. A fine of up to 4 million shillings or four years imprisonment on anyone found with plastic bags after the 28th day of this month, according to the Ministry of Environment and Natural Resources. We get afford, China, Zambia, the prison, prison department, we prepared to kukuana inmates wengi cause si ati si ati kila mtu ataza ku manage by yo deadline we provide Christopher Chiang a plastic bags vendor in this area makes between 40,000 and 50,000 shillings in a month every business person here requires this bag to satisfy their customers the decision by the ministry has dark clouds hanging over Ochiang serikali na fai i organize venye hizo circulation of papers zikitoa kwa manufacturer zikienda kwa retailer alafu ziende kwa the actual user huyo actual user akishaitumia anapeleka wapi others like George Mwangi a fruits vendor for 5 years now has got some ray of hope at least on what alternative to use his worry is however whether he will maintain his customers or not as plan b will cost him more baada ya kupaka kwa makaratasi mimi naweka kwa kwa container in case customer kitaji pineapple ama melon tu natoka nafungua container yangu mzuri na namtolea Kenya nataka na nashukua na nakula ala tukisema ni ni kutumia hizo za za kaki za 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 za, za papers how many things do we have hata kama ni ku import hata hizo countries zingine zitakuwa 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 importation cost will go high Manufacturers have warned that the ban on plastic bags will lead to a loss of about 60,000 jobs directly and about 400,000 indirectly. They argue this will translate to about 5.3 billion shillings wipeout on the Kenyan economy. Tujii tutafanya nini? Magazeti zilikataliwa. Baby bags ndio hizo zinakataliwa. So we are not sure kama tutaproduce another option. The government has now organized a free eco-friendly exhibition to take place at Kenyatta International Convention Center between the 24th and 25th of this month with an aim of providing alternative ways of coping with the ban once it takes effect. Although there are those who are already getting creative on how to cope with the ban, a majority of Kenyans might just find themselves on the wrong side of the law. Cecilia Okesho, KT News. Right, and remember that forms the basis of our Saturday night poll tonight. And we are asking you whether you've already